Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing the unified kill chain from TryHackMe on the SOC level 1. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're returning, let's have some fun. So let's go ahead and jump on the machine and get started. <music> So here we go. We're on our desktop now in my Kali machine. We're going to be doing the unified kill chain. And it's pretty much something like we did before. And uh, we're going to probably be learning some different stuff. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. So we're going to be learning this stuff together. Let me make this a little bigger just so let me see if you can see a little better. All right. So understanding the behaviors, objectives, and methodologies at a cyber threat, blah, blah, blah. All right. So the unified kill chain. So it's you know a framework and so what we're going to be learning is understanding why the framework is important using the framework understanding the various phases and discover you know discover it all right so let's go ahead and hit complete and let's go ahead and go on what is the kill chain and i put some stuff around my eyes and my eyes actually burn now so this sucks but it's all good all right so what is a, what is a kill chain so obviously this originated from the military as a kill chain. So we can see, we can keep going on. I just like to read the question and then go back. So what is the term, uh, what is the term kill chain origin from? It just says the military. So let's go ahead and copy this. That was, that was pretty easy. Pretty easy peasy. Hopefully that's right. Okay, cool deal. All right, so let's continue. So what is threat modeling? So threat modeling is a cyber security context, blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and just uh, keep going down here. Let's just go to the question. So I guess you can see the principles of security. Let's go ahead and open that up. You can go ahead and uh, tinker around with this if you're, I haven't done this. So what is the CIA triad? You know, confidentiality, integrity, availability. This is pretty much super, super critical if you're getting into cybersecurity or information security. This is probably going to be a question that you're going to get on any, any and every interview. Explain the CIA triad. What is confidentiality? What is integrity? What is availability? And so on and so forth. So having that understanding is super, super critical. So make sure you have that. All right. So uh, da, 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 da. let's go back down here. So what is the technical term of a piece of software or hardware? So technically, that's an asset. Let's see right here. So IT assets, an asset is a piece of software or hardware. So it's an asset. Okay. Super easy. So far, so good. So now we're going to be introducing the unified kill chain. So here we can go ahead and let's go ahead and see that. It's published in 2017. So here you go. This is the kill chain. There's 18 of them. You have reconnaissance, resource deployment, delivery, social engineering, exploitation, blah, 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 blah. You guys can go ahead and read all that. This is not reading class, so you can go ahead and go on with that. So, so what are the benefits of the, um, the unified kill chain framework and how, you know, how, uh, how do others compare to it? So you can go see, you know, released in 2017, updated in 2022. So it's updated probably about a year ago. All right, so there's 18 phases, as you, can, as you can see here, and so on and so forth. So let's keep going. All right, so what year? 2017. That's what I just said. Cool. According to the kill chain, how many phases? It's 18. All right, this one's pretty, pretty easy peasy so far. All right, so what is the name of the attack phase where an attacker em employs techniques to invade detection? It's probably going to be defense. Defense invasion. That's what I would. That's what I would uh, guess here. So let's go ahead and just uh, put that here. Defense invasion. Let's go ahead and just paste that here. Go ahead and full deal. All right. So what is the name of the attack phase where the attacker employs techniques to remove data from a network? So pretty much you can steal data. You can exfiltrate data. Uh, you know, however you want to call these terms. But if you come up. Come back up here, we can see exfiltration right here. Techniques to result or aid an attacker remove data from the attack. So let's go ahead and put that here. Let's 
come back down here, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so the next question here, what is the name of the attack phase where an attacker achieves their objective? Objective? <laughs> That's pretty dip to it. All right, so the objectives is, oh yeah. So let's go ahead and just put that here. Let's go, that was a little silly. That's a silly question. Watch me get it wrong. All right, cool. All right, so persistence. What, what is this one, persistence? A foothold, yeah. Of course, foothold has a big ass foot right here. All right, so right here, the, the main focus of this, you know, the phase is to get, gain access to your network, right? How do attackers or adversaries or red teamers or whatever you want to call those folks, how do they get that, uh, that initial foothold, right? So we can see reconnaissance. You can probably look at the, the MIDA attack right here. So it's going to bring you to, to that. And weaponization, social engineering, exploitation, persistence, uh, defense invasion, CNC, command and controls, pivoting. All right. So these are all important phases, right? You have to know this if you want to become a cybersecurity person. Even on the blue team, understanding how attackers and adversaries work, this is all good, you know, good knowledge to, uh, to understand, right? So what is, what is an example of the tactics to gain a, a foothold using email? Obviously, that's phishing. Excuse me. Uh, impersonating an employee to request a password, social engineering. Right, so if you come back up here, social engineering, let's copy this. So right here, you can, you know, getting a user to open a malicious attachment and so on and so forth. So it's social engineering, okay? Let's go ahead and hit enter here. So let's keep going down. An adversary setting up a CNC server infrastructure is what part of the, you know, what phase of the unified kill chain? So uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the CNC server, like Sliver, uh, Cobalt Strike, you know, th there's a lot of, you know, a lot of them out there. Even Metasploit is a CNC server. And so what phase is this? It's going to be weaponization, I would, I would assume. Let me go ahead and come back up. So for an example, setting up a CNC server. Yeah, so let's go ahead and copy this. And let's go ahead and paste that here. Perfect. All right, so the next one is exploiting a vulnerability. So... When we're exploiting a vulnerability, we're ex exploiting, right? Or exploit, I guess, exploitation in this case. Uh, exploitation. Go ahead and copy this. And that's the phase that we're going. Okay, so moving from one system to another is pivoting or lateral movement or, you know, they're, they're saying pivoting here. Let's copy that. Pivoting is a technique that's an adversary used to reach other systems within your network. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste that bad boy here. So leaving behind a malicious service that allows adversaries to log back in. So say for example, I want to leave a persistence, it's called persistence. If I wanna leave persistence in your machine and you can reboot and when that machine boots up, it can be a DLL, it can be some kind of file that reruns or in a registry and a startup. And um, you know, yeah, and then we can just you know, access your machine uh, again. So let's go ahead and copy this. So right here, creating a service in a target system that will allow an attacker to regain access. Fair enough. All right. So let's go ahead and hit OK here. All right. Now task numero seis. All right. So what is this one? Through. So network propagation. So let's see. Ones and zeros. OK. Blah, blah, blah. Through. So now we're doing talking about pivoting, discovery, privesque, execution. Prudential access, lateral movement. All right, so again, you can just click on the link here and you can learn more about it if you, if you wanna go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and read this question. A SOC, an a SOC analyst, you pick up numerous alerts pointing to a fail log on attempt by an administrator account. What stage of the kill chain? So if there's attempts to log in, they're probably trying to do some kind of privilege escalation. Maybe they're trying to do pass the hash, whatever. Something should try to authenticate to a machine in order to see, okay, these credentials will stick, like a spray and pray type attack. And once we get that, we're good to go. So right here, privilege escalation. Ah, oh, shoot. Let's go back. Uh, 
bloody hell. Let's go back down. So let's go back here. So privesc, we can copy this. Why can I copy? All right, copy. So as you can see here, you know, following their knowledge gaining, you know, blah, 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 system root, local administrator, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and paste that here and hit OK or whatever. All right, so Mimikatz is an attack tool. So the IT manager is trying to do some shady stuff. So if Mimikatz is on your machine or if someone's trying to utilize Mimikatz, if you ever catch this in your you know, EDR, MDR, XDR, whatever you're using, they're probably trying to dump credentials, dump hashes, and try to use that to maybe crack it offline or something like that. So Mimikatz is, uh, what is the mission of this tool? Uh, credential uh, dumping. Ooh, let's see if a credential, um, that's what I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and just put that. Credential, I think that's how you spell it. Do you that's how you spell it? Okay, good. I'm not the best speller. All right, so, the next one here is action of, uh, on objectives. So number seven, out. I want to get out this piece. All right, so collection, exfiltration, in, impact, objectives. All right, so while monitoring a network as a SOC analyst, you realize that there's a spike in network activity, all the outbound traffic's to an unknown IP address. What stage? So pretty much, what are they saying here? Say, for example, you're a SOC analyst, you see some crazy traffic, maybe you're doing net stat, maybe you're just seeing some network traffic on whatever, PRTG or whatever network monitoring software, or even like Microsoft Defender or whatever. So now if we're trying to take data from your local machine, if an attacker is trying to get it off your local machine into a cloud server or somewhere else, they're trying to exfiltrate that data. Right, so exfiltration would be my guess. I don't know why can't I don't know what I did, but I can't copy, right click. All right, cool. So PII has been released to the public by an adversary. Obviously, if that's the case, it's no longer PII. Because if a hacker releases your you know personal identifiable information to the dark web or the crazy internet, your stuff is not secure anymore and your organization is facing some serious trouble you know a breach or whatever what part of the cia triad has been affected so if this is the case it's probably going on to confidentiality because there's no more confidentiality if my data or my information is out in the wild so yeah confidentiality i guess it's uh, uh let me see let me make sure I I spell that right because you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put CIA because I I'm not going to lie. CIA triad. Um, I'm not going to even try to spell that because I want to look like a fool. But I'll just use Google because it's smarter than me. And voila. Okay. Cool. Here we go. I know the answers, but I can't, I can't spell them. But it's all good. Whatever. I wasn't the best in spelling. So yeah. All right. So right here we have. An attacker uses a tool to gain information about his system. So we're gonna say, for example, we're trying to weaponize. That's not it. Exploitation, no, that's not. We're gonna do reconnaissance, right? Um, do we just put reconnaissance? Oh, wait, did I do that? I don't know, whatever. The attacker installs a malicious script to allow them to remote access later. We're gonna persistence, right? So a hacked machine is being controlled by an attacker on its own server, command and control, right? An attacker uses the hacked machine to access other servers on the same network. That's gonna be pivoting, right? Lateral movement. An attacker steals a database and steals the third party actions and objectives. Okay, okay, cool. This is the fancy flag, can I copy this? All right, bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully I can paste it, all right. Flag? No? Oh, I'm an idiot. I put flag. Uh, let's see. All right, submit that. Full deal. All right, conclusion. Let me X out of here. This mic is in my, right in my way. 
have to do a different setup here, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, so conclusion, principles of security, penetration testing, fundamentals. This is all the stuff you can learn in the cyber kill chain. We did all this. So principles of security and penetration testing, fundamentals, the ethics, and all white rules of engagement, and all that fun stuff. So let's complete this. This is it. This is the unified kill chain video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Hopefully it was informative. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll help you out as best as I can. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day and talk to you soon.